Okay, excellent. Yeah, that, that the, is there, there is, a, there is, a, there is someone yeah, there who created all the things. Okay, excellent. Yeah. Okay, excellent. So what we are saying, this someone, you believe there is someone behind all of the things yeah, behind. Okay, excellent. Yeah. So what we are saying, this someone has to be one. There cannot be two or three. Why not? Because if there is two creator, for example, then the one creator will say, I wanna give the rain. For example, I wanna, I wanna, what's your name? What's your name? Anna? Okay. If one creator say, I want to make Anna as a man, and another one say, I want to make, make this uh, being as women, then which one will be? Then there will be the chaos, yeah? So if there is two, it doesn't make sense. There will be chaos in every single thing. You will see this, uh, someone is saying, uh, sun should be rise from the east, another one say no, from the west, another one say no, from the, another planet. So it will make the chaos. So there, this designer and behind this everything, there has to be one creator. Make sense, yeah? What we are saying, this one creator did not left us after the creation. Obviously, he will give the guidance, yeah? If you make a phone, obviously, he will give uh, the user manual, right? If you create a phone or you made these uh, things, obviously, he will give the user guidance how to use this, right? What we are saying, the God, the creator, the one who created everything, he gave the guidance as well. He didn't just left us after creation. He gave the guidance how to lead our life, yeah? He gave the guidance many times, like the Moses, Jesus, Abraham, Ishmael, David, Jacob. We believe all of them, yeah? And we believe Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the last and the final messenger, yeah? He came with the guidance from the Creator, which is Quran. And we believe this, this is the guidance from the divine guidance from the Creator. And we should accept it from our heart. How, how do you find? Looks okay? Yeah, so what we are saying is that God is one, and He sent the messenger and the uh, prophets. And the prophets, their duty was preaching the message of the God. There's worship to only one God. Islam means the whoever submit, Islam means the submission, and Muslim means whoever submit his or her will to the will of the Creator, they will be called as Muslim. So you are not submitting to some people or in any church or any mosque, you are submitting your will to the one Creator who created you. Very simple. Then you have the direct connection with your Creator. Why should you submit? Because submitting is something we are being gratitude, we are showing our gratitude. We are being grateful to our Creator who created everyone. Imagine like this, she gave this one as gift to you, and two years later you are saying, you didn't give anything to me. Obviously, you should, come on, I gave you something, then you are declining it, and you are, you are denying it. It doesn't make sense, it will be so ungrateful to deny her contribution, right? For example, you are saying, I don't have any mother. How your mother will think? This, uh, I gave her, gave her birth and now she's saying she doesn't have any mother. So it, is, it will be so ungrateful. So believing, believing in one creator is showing our gratitude, our gratefulness to the creator who gave us the life. Think about it, we, don't, we didn't ask anyone to give two eyes. We didn't ask anyone to give the nose with the smelly, smelling system. We didn't ask anyone to give the teeth to, you know, eat the food. What we are saying is that accepting one true God is Islam and accepting the, all the prophets are Islam. So two things. One is if anyone accept oneness of God, one creator who created the universe, everything, whatever we see, whatever we can't see. And if anyone says this creator sent the messenger and we believe all the messenger, they are Muslim. You see? What do you think? Make sense? Yeah. Okay. So why you if, if you see if you say it makes sense would you accept it would you accept islam as your religion no it's like i respect everyone's religion so um, we have our own tradition what's your tradition uh, like we have our own god you have your own god own gods yeah. gods or god gods, gods. Yeah. and many gods i don't know but okay too many gods. okay tell me about for, this for everything yeah every every like our creator has one god for that. Okay, there yeah. is a god for this universe, there is a god for sun, there yeah. is a god for moon. Yeah. Okay, I understand. Yeah. 
is a polytheistic idea. Look how it doesn't work because if you say God, we need to understand the term very carefully. When you say God or the Creator, the Creator has to be independent, right? Independent to create something. If you are not independent, you can't create anything, right? You have to be independent and self-sufficient. So it is impossible to have two independent or multiple independent beings at the same time. Well, what we are saying, if she is independent, yeah, what, what does it mean? Independent and all-powerful, meaning she has power over everything, including you. Then you cannot be independent because you, she has power over you. There is someone who has power over you, then you cannot be ultimately independent. At a certain level, you have the dependency. At a certain level of time, you have the limitation of your energy and the knowledge because someone else is independent. So if I say you are independent, then she cannot be independent. Meaning there has to be the contingency. There has to be the dependency to the other. So it is impossible to have, there is one God for rain, one God for moon, one God for sun. So if we say there is one God for moon, think about it. Then obviously moon doesn't have his, its own light. Then moon is depending to the sun. So what we are actually saying, this the God of moon is depending to the God of sun for the light. Because moon doesn't have its, a, its a own, own light. It's a scientific fact, right? Yeah. So th then obviously if anyone who depends on something else is not God. If we say this, the universe, uh, this world has a God which is depending to what? Depending to the solar system. Depending to the sun. Because without sun, world will not be exist world is uh, uh, rotating on it is it is on axis yeah that is your belief right no i'm saying that from the rational point of view i'm yeah, not ta well, taking my belief now i'm i'm just discussing from a rational point of view if you say the sun has but a god our, like, yeah i understand no problem i understand so traditional difference is different and it yeah. is the subjective tradition for example you have the subjective tradition which cannot be objectively verified because for example the hindu yeah in india they do have their subjective tradition. They believe in millions of God, not one, two, three gods. 33 million God. So how can you imagine 33 million God? But still they are saying it is our belief. So they can believe, but it cannot be true. It is the subjective belief. You see, what we are saying, sister, that's the objectively there has to be one God. Because it doesn't make sense to two, three, four God. From the rational point of view, if you think about it, yes? Yeah, we are saying, sense, yeah, yeah. I respect everything, yeah. Excellent, but, uh, excellent. Yeah. What we are inviting so to look into it, yeah? We have many brother. One is, I think he was somewhere okay, there. We, we have homework. Yeah. Like we have so homework this is a gift field. from me. Take it. I can give another one for you as well. So have a look on this. Read it whenever you, you got free. Are you a student? Are you a student? Yeah, we have group work to do, so we, we should. Okay, no problem. So yeah. take it as okay. gift from me, all right? Okay. So okay, take care of yourself. Okay, nice to speak okay, to you. Okay, you. Take care. Bye. Bye. I like this one. <laughs> this one. Yeah, yeah. Very nice. Well, Alhamdulillah. Well, Have a short discussion with uh, these two ladies. May Allah guide them. May Allah guide all of us. Assalamu alaikum.